good afternoon ladies and gentlemen myself zakaria ahmed field assistant biotech hub bahana college i am your moderator for today and it's my pleasure to welcome you all here to the online lecture on entrepreneurship organized by dpt funded institutional biotech hub bahana college so now the session will start with a welcoming speech by our honorable principal of bahana college dr sumit chaudhary sir sir am i audible yes sir uh good afternoon to one and all present here good afternoon sir uh it gives me immense pleasure in welcoming all of you to the online talk on behalf of bahana college i welcome all of you i want to convey my heartfelt gratitude to obhijit nath speaker of this special online talk i would also like to express my sincere thanks to all the participants from various parts of the country who sincerely committed to this event to make it a success uh today's topic the entrepreneurship development uh, is a very interesting that is a very relevant to today's world uh, i think uh, the we the today's uh, students instead of seeking their job they <coughs> become an entrepreneur so that they can absorb they can absorb some unemployed youth i am sure that the talk will be profitable and fruitful for everyone present here i welcome you all once again to the event and hope that you all will enjoy the talk and will be benefited from this thank you hello namaste thank you so much for your welcome and for inviting our today's online lecture now i request our iqc coordinator dr pankaj bora sir to say a few words Uh, thank you ahmed uh, thank you ahmed uh, honorable uh, president sir honorable 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 president নেটওয়ার্কে প্রবলেম নিছে নি আবাউট আওয়ার কলেজ বাহনা কলেজ ইট ওয়াজ এস্টাবলিশ ইন নাইনটিন সিক্সটি সিক্স 
to foster education among the uh, unembattled group of this corner of the region and it has crossed more than five decades offering education at the uh, undergraduate level and at the uh, higher secondary level right now we have around 1300 students in uh, both in uh, our undergraduate program and higher secondary program and we are offering science as well as arts education last year we have been accredited with a plus grade by NAC, and now we are trying to introduce new programs at our college one of the key uh, highlights of Bahana College is promotion of entrepreneurship and in last few years we have been working on that and I am very happy that uh, Biotech have started a journey from today that they will uh, organize you a program on entrepreneurship and I believe from these programs the students and the nearby people will be benefited and there will be entrepreneurs around us who will be uh, working not only for their livelihood but also for solving problems around us in our society. I wish uh, best wishes to the organizers and I will come the speaker and wish them uh, a very meaningful session. With this note, I would like to con conclude. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your speech. Now I like to request our coordinator of Biotech Hub Bahana College, Dr. Samgita Das, ma'am, to say a few words. Thank you, Takaria. A very good afternoon to one and all present here on this online meeting platform of Google Meet. Respected Principal, Mahana College, IQC Coordinator, Dr. Pampos Bora, our today's resource person, Mr. Obhijit Nath from Kajiranga University, all other distinguished persons, academicians, and dear participants. Institutional Biotech Hub at Bahana College, it was established in the year 2013 and it was funded by Department of Biotechnology, Gulf of India. And in the year 2023, we received a research project on development of skill and human being and infrastructure using science and technology intervention. And this online lecture program was just a part of that research project. We all know that, we all know that as you know, is the most Thank you. So may I start? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. Oh, thank you. Uh, hello, sir. Sorry to interrupt, but few of my colleagues are still waiting in the line. Please let them in. They are waiting since last 10 15 minutes. Still, the request has not been accepted. And I have also posted one message in the chat box. But I have not got any of the reply from your side. Please pay attention towards all these things. Please join with the new code, new meeting code. That S T T O X K M P H Y. Sir, 
सर प्लीज रिप्लाई व्हाट यू आर सीइंग mentioned it was regarding entrepreneurship and your topics different like we are from so you can start the meeting शेयर कर पाने खेली में लिखो ओके सो गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सर प्रेजेंटेशन इज नॉट विजिबल Is it visible now? Yes, sir. Now it's visible. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay. So first of all, good afternoon to everyone, uh, and I would like to express my gratitude towards Bahona College, uh, Institutional Biotech Hub of Bahona College, and entire family of Bahona College uh, for inviting me to deliver a lecture on uh, pharmacy's role and its emerging scopes. Uh, so, uh, before I going to start, I would like to express some my uh, uh, thoughts regarding Bahana College. As I am, uh, I would like to say uh, happily and proudly that I am a ex student of Bahana College. I have studied my higher secondary in Bahana College. In back then, uh, 2012, I have passed out in 2012. Also, my father is a, a retired vice principal of Bahana College. So that's why. Uh, there is a homely connection between uh, Bahana College and me. So I am very privileged to be a part of this webinar. So I would like to express my gratitude towards Institutional Biotech Hub. Uh, so as my topic is uh, pharmacies, uh, its role and emerging scopes in India, uh, being a pharmacist, being a, a pharmacy student, uh, I would like to first uh, tell you that so what is pharmacy and what is pharmacist so pharmacist is a is all practice it is as old as the human civilization in ancient civilization the physicians themselves practice pharmacy and it is believed as it is believed to be the most useful profession for mankind the pharmacy is the most diverse and versatile profession in whole world as it is directly linked to the mankind and its benefits regarding various diseases and all. Uh, the word pharmacy is derived from the uh, Greek word that is pharmacon. Uh, pharmacon means pharmacon means uh, it is the uh, it is it means uh, the drug uh, the pharmacon word means drug which is a Greek word. The profession of pharmacy is perhaps as old as human civilization in ancient periods. Uh, from ancient periods we can uh, see various uh, ethno-medicinal drugs like uh, drugs from natural origins are being traditionally used by various tribes uh, especially in uh, northeast India also and also in uh, like whole India or you can see the whole world. Uh, first we were being using uh, those 
natural medicines or uh, plant products from origin of nature then they use it as a uh, traditional medicine and likewise the pharmacy profession grows day by day and today we are having modern medicines through various processes like drug discovery uh, then after uh, isolation standardization and, and various uh, designing of the drugs using modern medi medical tools so here you can see the uh, pharmacy that uh, that is the word which deals with the drugs and medicine pharmacy is the profession which deals with the healthcare and its main purpose is the safe and effective use of pharmaceutical products so this is the main thing here in the why it is it should be safe and effective yes we know that we are using uh, drugs of natural origin from ancient times but uh, the main thing is to to validate their efficacy and to validate their scientific background so a traditional medicine cannot be efficacious or a traditional medicine cannot be safe to any person so to make the drug to be safe and efficacious the main thing the uh, the scientists who are dealing with the uh, validation and uh, standardization of those drugs from the natural origin origin or the traditional origin are the pharmacists who are working in various laboratories in india in various laboratories in worldwide also so in ancient periods physicians themselves practiced pharmacy like uh, from traditional medicine and all so the earliest pharmacies were known as apothecary shops and apothecaries you know uh, you are all uh, i think you are all familiar with the uh, word apothecary so uh, the and the second point is the manufacturing distribution of medicines for mankind so first the drug should be selected from the natural origin then it will have to be identified then isolated and then standardized standardized for medicinal use then it will be manufactured in large scale in industries which will be governed by various uh, technical control boards for manufacturing of drugs then it will be manufactured in a large scale then it will be distributed through through the country then it will reach the mankind so uh, various good manufacturing practices uh, various sops standard operating procedure are to be maintained during the manufacturing and packing and storage and distribution of the drug so it is not as much as easy to manufacture a drug because before manufacturing we will have to maintain standard storage condition we will have to maintain standard uh, operating procedures we will have to maintain uh, uh, sanitization and then we will have to again we will have to store the final product in a standard environment like temperature humidity uh, tem uh, and other things like temperature humidity moisture uh, those uh, those effects the storage condition of the uh, manufactured drug so we will have to maintain all the uh, standard procedures for manufacturing and storing of the drug then it will be packed in such a manner that the packing should not affect the efficacy and safety of the drug because it will have to be uh, distributed throughout the country so it will have to be packed in such a manner that its uh, pharmacological effect and its uh, uh, pharmaceutical effect should not deteriorate during the distribution of the medicine so in that case the uh, pharmacies are so in that case the pharmacies are solely responsible for the manufacturing and distribution of the medicines for in effective and safe use of uh, for mankind and the pharmacies are also involved in the treatment and prevention of diseases as you have seen that pharmacies are during covid you can also see that pharmacists were busy pharmacists were involved in the awareness of the uh, correct use of uh, a drug during the uh, treatment of the uh, that disease so the uh, treatment and also to prevent the 
disease we uh, the pharmacists are solely responsible to make awareness among the people around around the country so that how to use a drug effectively to prevent any diseases also the person who is expert in knowledge about medicine is called as pharmacist so here you can see in my slide there is a symbol that is widely known as the symbol of pharmacy so this symbol has a meaning a significant meaning this symbol is known as hyzeria so here you can see that there is a bowl and it is covered by a snake so the bowl represents the drug and the snake represents the toxicity so the pharmacists are related and pharmacists are responsible to pharmacists are responsible to make awareness of the use of the drug so the that bowl containing the drug here you can see the bowl that is containing the drug we cannot take a drug by without knowing its uh, actual volume or without considering its actual volume we would have to take it like in a proper doses doses unit or doses volume and if the volume of the drug increases then also toxicity may comes which represents the the snake represents the toxicity or if the uh, doses volume is less then also the uh, effectiveness may comes in less amount so uh, this is the core is correlation between the drug and the toxicity uh, which will be award which will be which will be given by the pharmacist only so this is the significance of our symbol that is the uh, hyzeria symbol of pharmacy so next going to the slide the scope of pharmacy so as we have discussed that this is a age old uh, profession for healthcare system uh, the pharmacy profession stands the third largest healthcare profession in healthcare system so pharmacy is involved in various types of fields like it is involved in industry like it is involved in practice like community practice like hospital practice or like uh, practice in clinical researches then you can see the academic part of uh, uh, pharmacy is also there then regulatory authorities are also there regarding pharmacy and and regarding drugs and its standardization and distribution and manufacturers manu manufacturing processes of drugs so first if we go to if we see the importance of industrial pharmacies then we can see that the indian pharmaceutical market is the third largest in terms of volume and the 13th largest in terms of value as we all know if we consider only northeast part of india also we are all aware that we have a tremendous amount of various medicinal plants available in northeast india so regarding that thing only the india holds a holds the third largest volume and the 13th largest in terms of value of medicinal drugs so that's why the northeast india and india is the a potential market for industrial pharmacy that's why there are various uh industrial industries are there regarding uh, manufacturing of drugs and pharmaceutical exports from india stood us dollar up to 20.70 billion in the year 2019 and 20 and india is the largest supplier of generic medicines so here as the term comes as generic medicine and branded medicine so uh, many of you may aware about that but i would like to clear it uh, for uh, because i thought i think that uh, there are maybe uh, some students are also there uh, who may be curious about the word uh, the difference between the word generic and branded medicine so generic medicines are same as branded medicine branded medi medicines are like the brands they are manufactured by certain company and they will be marketed through a brand name like paracetamol Uh, for example paracetamol it will be marketed by a uh, for example if we consider a xyz company is marketing the paracetamol in the name of 
P600 or P650 or P250. That is only his brand name. But the uh, potential, the therapeutic potential or the pharmacological action of paracetamol is same as it is antiparietic, which reduces the temperature of our body or which reduces uh, various inflammations and pain of our body. But the generic medicines are also that same medicine, the paracetamol, the composition, the chemical composition of paracetamol is known as the generic name for that drug. So uh, generic medicines has a very uh, low cost or they comes in low MRPs because they lack that distribution chain because the company do not have to promote that uh, generic medicine to market across the country. So that uh, the, the lack of that distribution chain, it, uh, the MRP of the generic medicine comes in a very low price. So this is, uh, this is the, uh, so uh, here in India also, India is the largest supplier of generic medicine globally. Also, India has one of the lowest manufacturing costs in the world. It is lower than that of USA and on almost half of Europe. Indian pharmaceutical sector supplies over 50% of the global demand for various vaccines. Also, 40% of the generic demand for US and 25% of all medicines for UK. Also, India contributes the second largest share of pharmaceutical and biotech workforce in the world. Also, Indian drugs are exported to more than 200 countries in the world. So, to export to more than 200 countries in the world, there are uh, more than 10 lakhs of pharmacists, uh, like uh, scientists from pharmacy, pharmacy background, are working to export those medicines to uh, 200, more than 200 countries in the world. So, if we come to the role of industrial pharmacists, so there are certain divisions regarding the uh, role of pharmacists, like there are industrial pharmacists, there are community pharmacists, there are hospital pharmacists, there are clinical pharmacists. So first and foremost is the industrial pharmacist. So industrial pharmacy is the process which includes manufacturing, development, marketing, and distribution of drug products, including quality assurance of the developed drug. Also, it is uh, involved in the, so uh, uh, if we go to the quality assurance of the developed drug, so quality assurance and quality controls are there in the industrial field of uh, pharmacy. So quality control, before marketing, when we will manufacture a drug, conducting SOPs and good manufacturing practices, after that we'll have to check it uh, we'll have to check the quality of the drug. So product testing throughout the life cycle of the drug and finished product is conducted in quality testing, uh, in quality control process. So quality control will be done by the quality control depart uh, department that is uh, inside of indus industry. So from raw material to packaging material and to finished good, its stability will be set. its life will be checked the half life that is uh, what we know as expiry date of the drug so uh, in uh, pharmacy we call it as half life of the drug so half life will be checked for the, uh, determining its expiry date and packaging material uh, in, in, uh, to identify or to protect the drug uh, protect the drug will have to select a proper packaging material so it will be conducted by the quality control department only. Then uh, later on, the stability of the drug will be checked by the quality control de department. So it will be checked by various uh, chemical procedures to ensure its stability. Uh, if the drug is stable for two years, then a quality control department will give a certificate that it, the drug will be stable for uh, coming two years. So these are all done by the quality control departments. Then for quality assurance, quality assurance is directly involved in the uh, directly involved to the customers or the patients. 
they will ensure the quality of the drug they will review the drug they will go for toxicity studies also they will go for like uh, adverse drug reactions also they will see if the drug has various side effects or if the drug is uh, quite good or not they will conduct various trainings internal audits and preparing and review they will review the drug uh, in the market also uh, they will see the quality here in the industry also but they will review the mark in uh, drug in the market also so quality assurance and quality control departments are look similar but uh, quality assurance is uh, done after the quality control of the product or that drug drug molecule also industrial pharmacies use the latest method technologies and processes to develop new medicines and may be involved in clinical drug trials yes obviously the clinical drug trials will be done by the industry only by the research and development department of the industry and uh, today and nowadays the industries are involved in modern equipments to produce a large amount of drugs in a short period of time then next comes to community pharmacy so community pharmacy from the name itself we can imagine the uh, nature of this pharma, uh, pharmacy profession the community pharmacy is directly involved in the community of our uh, community that is uh, also known as retail pharmacy which uh, we used to see uh, regular uh, daily uh, it is the most common type of pharmacy that allows the public access to their medications and advice about their about their health traditionally known as chemist because uh, a long per period of uh, be before 90s the pharmacists were allowed to dispense or allowed to prepare some medications inside the pharmacy so they will take one solution and they will uh, take the api that is the active pharma uh, pharmaceutical ingredient and they will prepare the doses from in inside the pharmacy uh, so uh, at that time they were uh, traditionally known as chemists but uh, nowadays uh, there is only uh, you can see there is only the ready made drugs are there so it is the health facility that is responsible for the provision of pharmaceutical service to a specific community or group or region most community pharmacies have a commercial store with a combination of medicinal goods only available with a prescription and those with that can be purchased over the counter so there are various over the counter drugs and there are various uh, other types of drugs like narcotic drugs like uh, life saving drugs so over the counter drugs do not need any prescription and other drugs like uh, 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 narcotic drugs and life saving drugs they needs a prescription to dispense a drug to a patient so there are various roles of the community pharmacies that is the procession uh, processing of the prescription processing of the prescription means they will check the prescription properly they will check the age they will say, uh, check the sex they will uh, uh, they will check the name they will check the address from address to the medication and advice given by the uh, doctor or the physician they will check the every part of the prescription as prescription contains various parts like inscription transcription so they will check the various parts of the prescription and they will then dispense the drugs advised by the physician also uh, we all can see that there is certain advice written in the prescription part of the uh, written in the prescription uh, by the physician like uh, they will refer the patient to other physician or other specialized physician or they will refer the patient to certain test regarding bloods and regarding other tests so they will advise the patient the pharmacist the community pharmacist will advise the patient that you have to go to do the that test so 
this is the sole responsibility of a community pharmacist to process a prescription. Then checking for drug interaction. They will also check if there is any drug having interaction with the other drug that is prescribed in the prescription. Like if the uh, doctor, if the uh, physician is uh, prescribing X drug, then and the pharmacist will see if the uh, physician prescribe, prescribing the drug that is X, is it interacting with the other drug that is written in the prescription itself, like Y drug. So they will check for drug interactions, then they will go for dispensing medication and disposing of medication. Disposing of medication means when the drug will expire at a certain time. So uh, the community pharmacist will have to dispose it before dispensing or before mistakenly dispensing or before dispensing. So they will have to dispose the medication, then providing advice. So community pharmacists, uh, as we all can see that they advises every patient regarding to uh, take the drug at certain time to take this food uh, with this drug or to uh, or to promote their healthy lifestyle by certain lifestyle habits which can improve their which can improve their medication or the, which can improve their the whole doses that is prescribed by the physician then we will have to uh, then we will see there is another branch that is hospital pharmacy so hospital pharmacy is similar to clinical pharmacy also as the uh, sorry the community pharmacy also as the community pharmacies is directly related to the community itself hospital pharmacies are related to the in presence of a hospital private or public hospital they will be uh, related or they will be dealing with the patients inside the hospital only they will check the storage of the hospital they will check the dispensing of the uh, drugs from the drug store to the in in patients of the hospital and they will assist physicians and other health professionals to make drug based decision so if any drug based decision has to be taken inside a hospital so there will be one hospital pharmacist to consult with the assisting physician or to consult with the physician then compounding medication for use in the hospital so they will dispense or they will compound some medication in the hospital also and they will help the patients to understand their medication and how to take them actually they will check the drug routine how to take at what time they will have to take at how much doses and they will have to take so uh, this all the things will be advised by the pharmacist inside a hospital so assisting in specialized medical care also uh, this is the um, sole responsibility of a hospital pharmacist providing me medicines in emergency situations also these, these these are the common and sole responsibility of a uh, hospital pharmacist then if we go to the next slide so clinical pharmacy so clinical pharmacy is based or clinical pharmacy is directly related to the clinical terms of a drug so this is a very important branch of pharmacist like it will contribute towards the ADRs monitoring. ADRs mean adverse drug reactions, which in generally we name it as uh, like side effects of drugs. So clinical pharmacists will conduct various adverse drug reaction monitoring and they will see the market, they will uh, see the community if uh, any drug is having various adverse drug reactions. For that, there are various procedures that uh, through which uh, a pharmacist, a clinical pharmacist will conduct ADRs. There will be some uh, questionnaires also, there will be some medical history databases also, there will be various uh, hospital records also to check out uh, any adverse drug reactions of a drug. 
also providing drug and poison information like uh, drug drug interaction or um, in a prescription that we have uh, discussed in the community pharmacies that uh, they will check for the any drug interaction drug drug interaction so keeping also they will keep medication history in terms to uh, contribute to the ADRs also making suggestions in therapy uh, and rational use of drug so clinical pharmacies are mainly related to the uh, areas to determine any adverse drug reactions and to prevent that adverse drug reaction and to uh, modify the drug to a better level or a safe level or efficacious level. Then pharmacists are also in, involved in academic sections as uh, pharmacist areas pharmacists are involved uh, various pharmacies are involved in institutions and colleges and universities as a teacher so uh, the teachers are how i will express the how i will uh, express the importance of teacher so uh, teachers are integral part of our society and teachers are integral part of any academics so uh, the teachers will motivate students for their uh, for upgradation and research work also also they will make a bridge between industry and like various pharmacy practices like uh, community pharmacy like hospital pharmacy like clinical pharmacy so teachers will make a bridge between the industries also so teachers will suggest any ph uh, pharmacy student or they will advise any pharmacy student to con to go for any industrial visit or to go for any industrial training to see the things practically how a drug manufactures or how a drug being marketed or how a drug being stored so this is, these are the sole responsibility of a, a teacher besides their uh, regular academic works <coughs> so there are various options like community pharmacy hospital pharmacy like academic parts, uh, research parts, so uh, and industrial parts also in in terms of uh, pharmacy profession. Then regulatory works of a pharmacist. So pharmacists are involved in various regulatory work, works. A drug that is uh, manufactured in a in certain uh, in a industry, it will be distributed or it will be marketed after certain regulatory works or after certain regulatory certificates so that those will be provided by some organizations like uh, the uh, same so people that is central drug standard control organization is the main central body in india for various uh, development of drug then its control and distribution and uh, to the society without having any ADRs or any side effects or any uh, toxic effects so they will control those things uh, the CDSCO like central drugs uh, standard control organization they will see the various regulatory aspect of a drug after manufacturing and for to marketing involved also they are involved in regulating various aspects of the pharmaceutical industries and trade distribution and metro so to regulate or to conduct or to control any pharmaceutical industrial process to manufacture a drug or to distribute a drug so uh, some regulatory pharmacists will decide certain procedures start certain standard procedures or they will they will provide certain uh, standard procedures to regulate a standard manufacturing proce process also they will uh, ensure the safety efficacy and quality of the pharmaceuticals di that is drug inspector and assistant drug controller drug controllers will carry out various inspections and they will be involved in clinical trials also. 
and manufacturing approvals and market approval. So here we can see one thing that clinical trials. So clinical trials is the um, is a important is an important thing uh, is an important factor in regulatory works. It is done in four phases like uh, phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. It is done in first. It is done in animals done on animals uh, like uh, albino rabbits and all and in some cases uh, they are also being done in some patients with taking their consent the various and uh, drug controlling boards will uh, conduct a clinical trials also they will see the uh, for manufacturing approvals they will see the all the facilities that is standard facilities are there or not then they will approve the manufacturing process also uh, they will approve the marketing of the uh, drug that is manufactured in an industry and the most important uh, and important part for pharmacy is clinical research so clinical research various scientists from uh, pharmacy background they will do various jobs uh, regarding their specialized subject or regarding their specialized field so there are various aspects of clinical research like ethnomedicinal development so this is the ethnomedicinal development is an important aspect of uh, today's pharmaceutical field as we can see that the marketed drugs or synthetic drugs which are uh, produced from uh, chemicals or various synthetic materials and synthetic drugs they are having various side effects or they are also cost um, uh, their cost is also higher also they are having the main thing is that they are having various side effects to reduce those side effects or to reduce the cost of any life saving drugs or any drugs we will have to go for <coughs> sorry we will have to go for uh, it's no medicinal studies so it's no medicinal studies mean means uh, we will have to go for traditional uses of drugs first uh, it's no medicinal for it's no medicinal development of a drug a uh, researcher will go for the uh, to study that various traditional methods there are tradi traditional doses forms of a drug like for anti diabetic if we see a drug, uh, plant that is having anti diabetic property and it is being prescribed traditionally in certain areas by certain tribes so we will uh, the researcher will go to identify identify that plant scientifically then it will be go through isolate uh, it will be go through various extraction processes then uh, isolation then uh, standardization then it will be go for like uh, development of a drug by as a systemic scientific research so the ethno medicinal study is as much as important uh, is very much important for clinical research in the field of pharmaceutical sciences also discovery of lead compound and development so lead compound is the compound which has pharmaceutical activeness or which has potential to treat any drug which has pharmacological potential to treat any disease to treat any disease but to develop this lead compound to a drug we'll have to go for a study to see that if the lead lead compound is compatible to the receptor uh, as we know that there are various receptors uh, in our biological system in our body there are various receptors so by binding to those receptors a lead compounds will show its pharmacological effect so first will uh, the clinical researcher will see the first will ident uh, they will identify the lead compound then that lead compound will be developed based on the receptor if it is not uh, the lead compound if it is not compatible to the receptor then it will be go through like various drug development procedures there uh, 
uh, structures will be developed as according to the receptor to get bind to that specific receptor to show that biological or pharmacological activity. Then uh, in this process also drug design and drug discovery comes. So um, we can design any drug depending on its chemical nature, depending on its chemical uh, structure. So um, there are various processes like QSAR, 3D, QSAR, RDR. Uh, so, um, through those processes, a drug will be, a drug can be designed to, to make it compatible for a specific receptor. Also, various toxicological studies and development of toxicological studies like to ensure its efficacy, ensure its safety, to prevent its various side effects, we'll have to go for toxicological studies. The various side effects will be considered for toxicological studies and it will be uh, then again developed to reduce any toxicities. And clinical trials and pharmacovigilance. So clinical trials, uh, clinical trials are done after marketing of a product and pharmacovigilance is the pharmacovigilance is the topic which includes the review of the market. So pharmacovigilance is the topic which uh, is con uh, which is related to the review of the drug. After the clinical trials, if we see that a drug is having various toxic effects or various adverse drug reactions. The pharmacovigilance teams will teams will go for study of those ADRs like adverse drug reactions and uh, other side effects. They will review the market uh, by various means. There are various uh, procedures or there are various uh, uh, plannings, systematic plannings to review various uh, toxicity effects or to review various adverse drug reactions. Then they will report to the research and development team of, a, of an industry to go for clinical trials. Then they will go for clinical trials and toxicological trials, uh, toxicological studies. So the pharmacology, pharmacovigilance is an important and very much potential profession in case of pharmacy. There are various jobs available in pharmacological pharmacovigilance field so pharmacovigilance is the main thing which bridges between the industry and the uh, patients so pharmacovigilance is an important topic or is an important aspect of pharmaceutical field so to become a pharmacy to become a pharmacist there are various programs or courses under which we can be we can become a pharmacist like uh, the pharmacy education in india is started at certificate level in 1842 at goa by portuguese and as university level program in 1937 by benares hindu university so uh, in 1937 it has it has been introduced in india uh, like a university level Sir, any question? 
disconnect hoga mam network network ka karne apni ki parak koi nahi mukul i think there are some network issues wait for few minutes হটস্পটটি কানেক্ট কইলে তো ভাল sorry for the inconvenience our research person having some network problem ha message likhi se bhi koi ek baar whatsapp call to koile bhalo bani ki ha hai direct call to koile ba kat khai jabo whatsapp call to koi sorry for the inconvenience our research person having some network problem take mobile wi fi connect korbo lai sil pai রিসার্চ পার্সন হ্যাভ জয়েন এগেন স্লাইড আছে
sorry for the interruption as i have i had one internet issue am i audible now hello yes sir you are audible now is it visible my presentation yes sir the presentation is visible it is visible now my presentation only yes sir okay okay sorry for the interruption interruption actually uh, there is one internet issue network issue there so hello yes sir am i audible yes sir you are audible okay okay so uh, to pursue any education in the field of pharmacy the pharmacy council act of uh, the pharmacy pharmacy council of india conducts the advisory committee for the rules and regulations for the pharmacy education in india there are various courses like diploma in pharmacy bachelor of pharmacy doctor of pharmacy that is pharm d and master of pharmacy and also there is phd degree is also there in the field of pharmacy uh, you can see various uh, number of colleges and total seats available in india for pharmacy uh, but it's going upgraded uh, year by year so this is a this is not a fixed value for the number and total seats of the pharmacy for for diploma in pharmacy uh, uh, if we if we if anyone wants to pursue diploma in pharmacy then to have to be qualified a uh, 10 plus 2 that is higher secondary you have to be qualified a higher secondary exam and uh, having the background of uh, pharmacy uh, sorry physics chemistry and biology as his core subject and for bachelor of pharmacy also a, a, any student can pursue the bachelor of pharmacy by having hs certificate with him uh, but uh, also in case of uh, bachelor of pharmacy he will have to be study the physics chemistry and biology as their core subject also in case of bachelor of pharmacy uh, the if any diploma of pharmacy diploma in pharmacy student wants to study further the b pharm or bachelor of pharmacy then he may be entered in the b pharm course uh, in a literal entry basis uh, by having a highest mark in his b pharm course also there is master of pharmacy so master of pharmacy uh, for master of pharmacy uh, a person will have to be qualified his b pharm exam uh, b pharm exam and for doctor of pharmacy also it, uh, a person will be having uh, must be having the m pharm degree and also uh, from bachelor of pharmacy he may be en entered into the Uh, farm B course in literal entry basis. So for the regulation of pharmacy education, for uh, the diplomas are awarded by various boards of technical education, governed by state governments. The details of the course and curriculums will be given by Pharmacy Council of India, that is known as PCI. But uh, they have the award the certificate will be awarded by technical education boards, that is governed by state governments. in a specific state the b pharm and n pharm are under direct control of the recognized universities by the pci that is pharmacy council of india also they will have to lay down the various guidelines and curriculums curriculum outlines to conduct the degree that is b pharm and m pharm and also uh, the phd degree uh, of the pharmacy then there are various areas of specialization in m pharm and in b pharm level like pharmacognosy so pharmacognosy is the subject which is related which is related to the plant and drug 
so it is based on natural products only pharmacognosy so it is uh, basically um, we can relate with botany uh, uh, it is basically related to the natural products that is plant materials uh, plants and its various parts of the plant for its pharmaco pharmacological uh, evaluation uh, it will go for various standard procedures to to get a develop uh, pharmacological active constituent then pharmaceutics pharmaceutics is related with the various doses forms like to develop a standardized drug to a certain doses from like syrup like tablet like uh, injectables like uh, aerosols so pharmaceutics department will go for that and pharmacology is the relation of drug to the body so how a drug will act to the body or a how a body will act to the drug so pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics are there in pharmacology animal studies are there in pharmacologists to conduct any pharmacological evaluation so pharmacology is uh, basically involved in the drug interaction with the body and body interaction to the drug and pharmaceutical analysis and pharmaceutical chemistry chemistry and analysis are same like uh, to determine any drugs chemistry to determine any drugs uh, structure its various chemistry so to determine those things the these departments are there and industrial pharmacy so industrial pharmacy is related with the industry its research and development part its quality control part its quality assurance part and other distribution parts and all and pharmacy practice we have uh, discussed earlier that it is basically involved in community and hospital and other parts of pharmacy so uh, i would like to conclude by saying that the pharmacy profession is a very potential and diverse profession and a very unique profession in the field of healthcare system so if any person wants to pursue any pharmacy education so he will have various doors to step into any specialized field like industry like community like research and development like hospital and other things and like community pharmacy only so any person after pursuing the d farm also or after pursuing the b farm also or an m farm and other higher degrees they, there will be various doors will be, uh, open for them to do any to do his uh, kind of job for the betterment of the society only so the pharmacy profession is mainly for the bear betterment of the society to caring the society and to prevent any diseases and to make awareness around the people regarding any diseases and drug abuse and all so uh, these are all regarding uh, today's uh, topic that is pharmacy its role and scope so there are various scopes and role roles of pharmacy so if any person wants to pursue uh, pharmacy then i think uh, my this little topic will help you in your future and thank you all again and thank you Inst institutional biotech hub and family of bahana college for inviting me to deliver this lecture uh, i don't know how i can i could i can uh, express
ಸಹಾಯಕ ಧನ್ಯತೆಗಳು ಇಟ್ಯಾಕ thank you so much sir for your meaningful session <coughs> we have learned a lot about drug designing testing ethical uses and different courses of pharmaceutical education i hope our participants have benefited from this lecture uh, now it's time for interactive session anyone have any queries ask their question or you you can write on the chat box at the ppt i will stick the ppt with, with the members of biotech hub there no query i think now i request miss molika borua uh, lab uh, assistant biotech hub bahana college to end the meeting with a formal vote of thanks mic to thank you very much for asking everyone it's my privilege to offer a vote of thanks uh, and actually the contribution of those who worked really hard to make this event successful i mallika borua on behalf of bahana college and the entire fraternity of the institution extend my sincere thanks to our principal sir dr sambit soliha for his active participation uh, in this event i would like to thank dr pankaj bora iqac coordinator for his speech on behalf of my college i extend a hearty vote of thanks to our resource person mr obhijit nath who spared time from his busy schedule to grace the occasion i also want to extend thanks to dr sangita das coordinator biotech hub for making this event possible i also want to extend thanks to all the speakers who have entertained us with their important and worthy opinions and uh, last but not the least a big thank you to each one of you who made the event possible uh, we thank you for being with us have a great day ahead thank you thank you let us close koi na koi hum close koi na